One UI 8.5 is going to transform Samsung DeX, and I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Samsung DeX in the last 12 months has undergone a lot of changes. One UI 7, then One UI 8 in particular, has changed the face of how Samsung DeX gets used and added some much needed features. On both the phones and the tablets, they've seen some much improved feature set offerings. One UI 8.5 and I truly believe this, is going to change DeX completely. The big one, the absolute one I'm probably most excited for, and I even called for this way back at the start of the year, they can introduce multiple desktops. So the ability like you have on Windows, where you can actually create different desktop environments for certain different workflows that you might have, different apps on the screen, and you can sort of cycle between them using keyboard shortcuts to be able to then use different apps on different environments. Multiple desktops is coming to One UI 8.5 on the phones. You will have the capability to support up to four different desktops and change between them as you're using it. They did introduce this into the tablets a little bit earlier this year, a couple months ago, where you could add the four different desktops on the tablet screen. And that was great. It was something I saw in a really early build of One UI 8 on the phones too. And now we're finally getting it. Very easy to bring up. You just go to the recents key and hit the plus icon to keep adding the multiple desktops. And then you can kind of organize it in the way that you want. One could be for entertainment, one could be for productivity, one can be for your socials, and then a fourth one just for fun can be sitting there at the end. What I've actually found really interesting with this function is with certain apps, you can actually have multiple versions of them open across the different desktops. So for example, the one I noticed was Samsung Notes. I could have Samsung Notes open in desktop one and desktop three, for example, but, and then have them be separate notes as well. So it's not the same note file, it has to be open on both. I'd be working on different notes files in different desktops. I'm also a big fan too of how the recent app menu brings up the multiple desktops and then how the apps all sort of swarm to be organized on the recent menu view. And then when you go to that desktop, it sort of animates itself into position sort of where they were. It's a nice touch. It just creates a super productive environment to work in, or multiple environments, I should say, because the whole idea of DeX is to mirror and create a desktop experience. And this kind of further extends that purpose by now allowing you to sort of pretty much mimic what a desktop PC and laptop can do with that environment. And it's just the thing that also can happen to fit in your pocket at the same time. I didn't end up getting or finalizing a sponsor for this video. They actually pulled out at the last minute. So instead, I figured I'd promote you, the viewer. Because if you didn't get what you wanted for Christmas, if the big red man didn't leave you a Samsung product under your tree, you still have some time before the new year is over to treat yourself to something new. I've left a whole bunch of links in the description of this video for Samsung products that I think you will love, especially before the year is out. Whether it be the S25 Ultra that is going to get One UI 8.5 and all of the Samsung DeX goodies that I've showed off in this video, this will get it. And all the One UI 8.5 stuff in general, S25 Ultra is going to bring that in. Or whether you want to try something new and transform your experience of smartphone usage with the Z Fold 7. Again, this will also get One UI 8.5 and all the Samsung DeX advantages, plus the unique flavor of being a phone that opens up into a tablet. Something that just absolutely transforms your usage and something you will want to be on, especially as the category progresses next year. And whilst you're there, you may as well pair it with an accessory. The excellent Buds 3 Pro, you can jump in and add them in to your order, or it's not here, but check out that watch tan. That is, that is chronic. Or the excellent Watch 8 Classic, which acts as a companion to your smartphone, extending your notifications out. Also just an excellent product that looks really good on your wrist, but not not when it's not there. So go check out all the Samsung products that I've left down in the links in the description. You will not regret checking them out. Supports the channel just by doing so as well. I want to wish you guys a happy new year and thank you for all the support you've shown me in 2025. I look forward to seeing you next year. The other big addition to Samsung DeX with One UI 8.5 is you now can screen record inside the Samsung DeX environment when it's plugged in. It may not seem super revolutionary, especially when you consider that laptops and Computers have pretty much had this function for years now, but now that it is here, it actually is incredibly useful and it might even give you the opportunity to ditch your laptop, especially if you're in the field of doing training or creating presentations. For me in particular, it's almost too useful because it might stop me from maybe doing B-roll footage with camera because it's just going to be so easy to demonstrate Samsung DeX just by screen recording what I'm doing in there and then being able to show you 
in a big visual. So right now, I'm inside the Samsung DeX environment and I'm using Samsung Notes. So I could, with this, show off how Samsung Notes works in One UI 8.5 on Samsung DeX. And I wouldn't even need to set up anything else. I could just do it all from here. Like how cool is that, that I can showcase, you know, then bring in the desktop situation. I can show off how the now brief works inside Samsung DeX. There's just so many cool things now that I can show off thanks to the fact that I have screen recording and Samsung DeX set up. But even for people who just work in the DeX environment and don't do what I do, they're going to be able to use this feature, like I said, for sort of screen recording things that they're doing, putting them into presentations and being able to just do it all in one environment as opposed to needing to do it in another. I can imagine it being very handy for that subset of people. I just want to highlight here that One UI 8 could already screen record with Samsung DeX, and I don't know how I missed that. But what you couldn't do with One UI 8 is do the partial screen record. So with One UI 8.5 inside Samsung DeX, you get that partial screen record option like you do on the phone with One UI 8.5, and screen recording. So Samsung have brought that into the Samsung DeX experience as well as just the full on screen recording too. There is some extra stuff in the quick panel within Samsung DeX in 8.5 as well. Some extra toggles in there. It's probably why I missed it before because it looked clean and neat, whereas now they've sort of made it a little more obvious that there's stuff in there to find. So anyway, screen recording was there. They've now just made it better in 8.5. Either way, it's still a very cool function and I'm glad it exists. The last change that Samsung are making to Samsung DeX with One UI 8.5 is bringing back an old feature, the keyboard shortcuts. They didn't ditch them entirely with One UI 8, but the one that actually makes the most sense, they got rid of. That was the ability to use the control key or the command key or whatever key it is, and then going left and right to snap the window across. I think it's the Windows key on a Windows keyboard and the command key if you have a Mac keyboard connected. I just don't understand the logic behind removing it in the first place. I use multi-window all the time. And the ability to press the button, snap the window to the left, was just so easy and convenient. They replaced it with some new system where you had to use the mouse, go up to the top left corner, and then hit snap left or snap right on the app. But it's just not as convenient. And for someone, like I said, who uses multitasking a lot, even writing the script for this video, I was writing the script on one side and had the ashes playing on the other. And it's just gonna be so much easier to bring an environment like that together if you have the ability using the keyboard shortcut. Thankfully, 8.5 has brought it back via a toggle, so you can actually choose to turn it on or off if you don't want it. But obviously, the easy solution is just turn it on because keyboard shortcuts are better than no keyboard shortcut. So they are the big ways that Samsung are revolutionizing or changing Samsung DeX for One UI 8.5. The big one, obviously the hero, is down to that multiple desktops environments that they're bringing in. Let me know which one you actually like the look of the most. For me, it's that, but the absolute hidden hero is going to be that subtle command left and right to snap the window. That one's going to be a big one for me. But you let me know yours in the comments below. Whilst you're down there, hit subscribe to Tech With Benefits. Lots to come, especially in the new year. And we'll see you guys in the next one. You.